Ever heard of the Trenda Aragua gang? Well, buckle up because we're diving deep into their dark world. The Trenda Aragua is no ordinary gang. Its roots run deep, tracing back to Venezuela, a country marred by political instability and economic turbulence. Amid the chaos, the Trenda Aragua emerged, carving out a notorious reputation for themselves in the criminal underworld. Their name, intriguingly, takes after a prison in Venezuela known as the Trendy Aragua Prison, a place infamous for its lawlessness and violent inmates. The gang's genesis was not a sudden burst, but a gradual, menacing growth, feeding off the turmoil in their homeland. They first dipped their toes into petty crimes, but soon graduated to more heinous activities. The gang quickly made a name for itself with its violent nature and involvement in a slew of criminal activities ranging from robberies to drug trafficking and human smuggling. Their operations were not confined to one city or one state. They spread like a malignant tumor across Latin America, their influence seeping into the darker corners of society. The gang's violent methods and ruthless tactics ensured their dominance in the criminal world, making them a force to be reckoned with. The Trendy Aragua's expansion was not just geographical. Their criminal activities also evolved becoming more complex and dangerous. From their humble beginnings in Venezuela, they rose to become a transnational criminal organization, their tentacles reaching out, infiltrating communities far and wide. As the Trendy Aragua expanded, so did their criminal activities, reaching far beyond the borders of Venezuela. The Trendy Aragua didn't stay local for long. Their activities soon reached a global scale. This Venezuelan gang quickly realized the opportunities that lay beyond their home turf. The United States, with its sprawling cities and vast landscapes, was a particularly appealing target. New York City, with its bustling streets and diverse population, soon found itself in the crosshairs of the Tren de Aragua. As the gang established their presence in the Big Apple, the city experienced a sharp uptick in crime. From robberies to more violent offenses, the fingerprints of the Tren de Aragua were everywhere. The city that never sleeps found itself in the throes of a crime wave, the likes of which hadn't been seen in decades. But it wasn't just the increase in crime that was alarming. The brazenness of the gang's operations, their seeming indifference to law enforcement, was a chilling reminder of their origins. These were individuals who cut their teeth in some of the most violent neighborhoods in Venezuela, hardened by years of conflict and strife. The Federal Bureau of Investigation quickly took notice. Recognizing the potential threat posed by the Tren de Aragua, they began monitoring the gang's activities closely. Their goal? To understand the gang's structure, their strategies, and their plans. To protect American communities from the violence and chaos that this foreign entity threatened to unleash. The FBI's efforts were not in vain. Their surveillance led to several arrests, disrupting the gang's operations and slowing their growth. But the Tren de Aragua proved to be a resilient adversary. For every member that was put behind bars, it seemed two more were ready to take their place. With their foothold in the U.S. established, the Tren de Aragua became a name known and feared by many. Their expansion had not gone unnoticed, and their activities had left an indelible mark on the communities they infiltrated. The Tren de Aragua had become a symbol of the increasing global reach of gang violence, a reminder that borders and oceans were no longer sufficient barriers against the spread of crime. The Trend de Aragua's reach extended beyond just robberies and drug trafficking. Let's talk about the Ibarra brothers. Now, this is a tale that takes the gang's notoriety to a whole new level. Three brothers, Jose, Diego, and Argenis Ibarra. Venezuela-born, these brothers found themselves embroiled in a world of crime, with their paths ultimately crossing with the notorious Tren de Aragua gang. Their criminal activities ranged from shoplifting to DUI, but it was the case of Luck and Riley that truly brought them under the spotlight. Luck and Riley, a nursing student in Georgia, was found brutally murdered, with the main suspect being none other than Jose Ibarra. Jose, an illegal immigrant, stood accused in a court of law his crime resonating far beyond the courtroom and into the heart of the American community. The tragic loss of Locke and Riley was a stark reminder of the dangers posed by the trendy Aragua's expansion into American soil. But let's not forget about the other Ibarra brothers, Diego and Argenis. Diego, in particular, 
had a direct link to the trendy Aragua gang. He faced charges of green card fraud and with his connection to a violent gang was deemed a flight risk by the court. This story of the Ibarra brothers isn't just about the crimes they committed, it's about the broader implications for society, it's about the infiltration of foreign criminal elements, like the Trende Aragua into the United States. It's about the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies in combating these elements. And it's about the lives that are lost or forever changed in the wake of these crimes. The Ibarra brothers case is just one of many that highlight the widespread influence and dangerous nature of the Tren de Aragua. Their story serves as a chilling reminder of the gang's far-reaching tentacles and the devastating impact they can have on innocent lives. It's not just New York that's feeling the impact. The Texas border has also seen its fair share of the Tren de Aragua. The Lone Star State is no stranger to the challenges posed by this notorious gang. The vast Texas border, known for its diverse landscapes and complex terrain, has become a hotbed for the Tren de Aragua's activities. From drug trafficking to human smuggling, the gang continues to exploit the vulnerabilities of this region, leaving a trail of crime and violence in its wake. Law enforcement on the ground faces a daunting task. The sheer size of the Texas border, coupled with the gang's adeptness at blending in with the flow of regular migrants, has made their job all the more challenging. The Trendy Aragua, known for their ruthless tactics and organized operations, have proven to be a formidable adversary. However, efforts to combat this menace are in full swing. The FBI, working in tandem with local law enforcement agencies, is employing a multi-pronged approach to tackle this issue head on. From heightened surveillance to increased patrols, they're leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of justice. Moreover, collaboration with Mexican and Central American counterparts is also being ramped up, aiming to disrupt the gang's operations at their source. The goal is clear, to dismantle the Trendy Aragua's network and bring its members to justice. But it's not just about law enforcement. Communities along the Texas border are also playing their part. From raising awareness about the gang's activities to cooperating with authorities, they're contributing significantly to this fight against crime. The spirit of unity and resilience shown by these communities is indeed commendable. In this battle against the trend de Aragua, the stakes are high. The safety of our communities, the integrity of our borders, and the very fabric of our society are on the line. But with concerted efforts and unwavering resolve, there's hope that the tide can be turned against this criminal enterprise. The fight against the Tren de Aragua continues, with their influence reaching far and wide. And so, what have we learned about the Tren de Aragua gang? We've taken a deep dive into the origins and expansion of this violent Venezuelan gang, Tren de Aragua. Born in the harsh environment of Latin America, the gang has shown a disturbing capacity for violence and criminal activities, including drug trafficking and human smuggling. The gang's ruthless nature and disregard for law and order have fueled its expansion, reaching as far as the United States. We've seen the impact of this criminal organization in New York City, where they've been linked to a wave of robberies and other criminal activities. The FBI is keeping a close eye on this situation, recognizing the potential threats the gang presents to American communities. Highlighting the gang's reach within the U.S., we discuss the chilling case of the Ibarra brothers. Jose Ibarra, a Venezuelan illegal immigrant, was charged with the murder of Lachan Riley, a nursing student in Georgia. His brothers, Diego and Argenis, faced similar immigration issues and criminal charges. Diego, in particular, was linked to the Trendy Aragua gang, demonstrating the organization's insidious infiltration into American society. Finally, we turned our focus to Texas, where the gang is making its presence felt. The state's proximity to the Mexican border makes it a prime target for the gang's expansion, posing a significant challenge to local law enforcement agencies. In conclusion, the Trendy Aragua gang's journey from a Latin American gang to an international criminal organization is a stark reminder of the global reach of crime. 
It's a testament to the ongoing fight against it, a fight that requires vigilance, intelligence, and cooperation from all of us. The trendy Aragua gang is a stark reminder of the global reach of crime and the ongoing fight against it. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember knowledge is power.